I'm not mistaken. It was actually pretty, yeah, they were in both the winners finals, and it was actually pretty close. Oh, like, actually, like, like, funny enough, like, uh, my, my knowledge with, like, uh, doubles isn't, like, as experienced, but I definitely know from experience that, like, just playing it is, like, a whole different game from singles. Oh, like, for sure. The interactions, like, that you think are already pretty intricate already with singles, it, it quadruples because you have to think about combination with your uh, character, how they synergize, and so forth and so forth, and look what we have now. Yeah. And so what's really great about Jason Amaryllis' team is Amaryllis carries them away with Bale, and as soon as you're like, oh, I'm out of Bale's combo, Zelda's there to punish you and take your stock at, like, 60. And what's <laughs> great about uh, AZ and Rocky's team is they're just hunkered down, and they're winning neutral over and over. Rocky will set down Fire Hydrant, and they're both protected on that side of the stage. And then air, uh, wolf, uh, AZ's Wolf covers the air-to-air. -air. So that's what we're really going to be seeing from both of these teams. Uh, that's their respective game plans. So, uh, uh, first of all, I love the drip of their controllers, the two in the middle. <laughs> like, yeah. very nice, uh, very nice aesthetic controllers. Uh, second of all, like, I, I think it, uh, for doubles especially, uh, practice comes in very important. Yeah. Like, the, the, picking up and playing is a lot harder, especially when you have to not only watch for yourself, but, like, someone else depends on you. And Wolf and Pac-Man, yeah. like... And like I said earlier, AZ and Rocky are not statics. They have not teamed until last Thursday. So to, for them to be sitting in Winterside Grands is pretty impressive for a non-static team. Definitely. And right now, we're definitely seeing uh, a couple of interactions. Each of them are having to really watch out. Oh, oh, okay. Really good angle there from that Wolf. I really thought he had missed the, uh, missed the ledge there. And from what we saw from the last set, Rocky has been been uh, taken off the side and off the top by Amaryllis' Bayo, so that's probably going to be their key to victory, is to take Rocky off the side or top. Yeah, Rocky's going to have to uh, go in and approach, and oh, uh, accidental footstool. Uh, oh, that's a punish! Oh my goodness, the fire hydrant definitely <laughs> didn't go in his favor, and that down smash uh, gets him a kill. Yeah, AZ's been sneaking in those down smashes really well. And I'm really curious because Amaryllis and Jace have shown that they get hot as, as sets go by. And AZ and Rocky have kind of been waiting in winter in Winterside Grands for a while now. Oh, most definitely. Amaryllis right now, though, a few times he's definitely gotten a uh, really... Oh, there he goes. Finally gets the Witch Diamond. I was about to say was really in love with these up smashes that weren't connecting until finally connects with the Witch Time. Oh, I thought maybe AZ like could be stunned enough by the bell to live, but... Right there, losing the stock and kind of really losing their advantage with it. That's why sometimes you want to get that hard punish, but is it with the, worth the cost of your teammate as well? Yeah. All right, here we go. Combo game. You don't really need a, a, a partner for Bayo to deliver 30 to 50% combos, for but sure. you definitely do. Oh, the forward smash. Definitely came in at a moment where the, the scramble was a lot, <laughs> was really real at that point. Yeah, and Bill, and a lot of what Smash Attacks Pac Man have just last such a long time. Ooh, try to go for that Nair there. All right, Bale, uh, and a little going for these, uh, going for the top. Rocky gets out, and AZ was on ledge here. Finally gets out of the way and gets a dash attack to come in, uh, come to center stage. Yeah. Right, Blue's gonna have to hunker down, you know, kind of uh, put set up shop. Get, get the items at play, and AZ kind of has to press neutral a little bit. Ooh, excellent D. Oh, the DI didn't matter! <laughs> yeah, cut, cut AZ sleeping at the... Oh, the two, let's go! They are just swinging right now! Yeah, cut AZ sleeping there. Um, you know, you really have to make your decisions twice as fast in doubles just because there's so many variables to work out. Uh, so, you, you know, what a simple laser would be in singles, you're going to get punished for in doubles. Absolutely, and right, oh, gets a dash attack. Oh, that could have been really bad if he got that down smash over here. Uh, definitely trying to get rid of Amaryllis. Doesn't want to have to deal with the, uh, oh, the back air clean, and that's going to take it. It's up to Jace now. I don't know why AZ went for that. That was really risky, and you don't need to go for that type of stuff. And I know you're in Winterside Grands, uh, but, man, it is tough to go for that type of stuff. Yeah, I, I'm just as shocked. I, oh, oh, well, Bell will clean it up. Yeah, uh, I mean, sometimes the easiest sure option is the best option. You're right. Yeah. I, but you were right, though. Like, I okay. was absolutely shocked with that attempt. With with what AZ was doing right there with this controller, I think he might have been saying that's a misinput and he was off stage or something like that. So okay. I, it was very uncharacteristic. He hadn't really been doing stuff like that all game. So, you know, it's like... Yeah, it probably he probably made a mistake and uh, you know controller mistake issue something like that because uh, very incorrect and characteristic. He's been staying on stage, you're getting your kills with down smash. You know why go off? 
Yeah, especially like when uh, he was like around 80% already. And it's it's not like Wolf has like the most versatile recovery. Yeah, you're not gonna, if you're gonna go that deep, you're not gonna make it back. Yeah. No matter if you had a jump, probably. So here we go, game two. And honestly, they were both pretty even. Like it was, it came down to like, every time the stock was lost, the other team managed to come in and scrape it really quickly. Yeah, but that's the thing. Blue team was taking the stocks first, so they were getting that advantage. So once they took that stock, it was like 2v1 game over, you know? Good up smash there. AZ really doing a good job here of like knowing when to push his advantage on either side, uh, on either character. Oh, the back air uh, passed on from Rocky's Pac-Man. Yeah. Really good stuff. Almost cleaning up that stock too. Almost killing. Ooh! Like I was saying, almost killing, but it did kill there. <gasps> oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to find out wh uh, what happened. Yeah, Rocky missing that conversion with the side B. Uh, but, I mean, if it would have worked, it would have killed. Oh, Blue no! Blue team was sitting pretty anyways. Hydrant pushed for AZ into Rocky for the down smash. Definitely wants that back. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna hit your... Oh! Clips his own partner! Wait, wait. You're gonna hit your teammate every now and then? It's just more of a issue if you take their stock every now and then. That's the tough part. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I, I don't know if AZ lost his jump or not, or unless I missed a, a hit that happened. All right. All right. Oh, Wait, oh no! Rocky no. thought he had enough to get back with that up B, but not able to grab it. All right. Oh, that forward smash definitely going to do it, unfortunately, for the wrong team. Yeah, taking that stock, not a good move. All right, gets back on top. Bayo is willing to play this uh, uh, outside game with Pac-Man. She can definitely chase him. Yeah, but Pac-Man has that great recovery themselves, so, you know, it's not like they're going to have that big of an issue. Yeah, fair enough. And right now, they're each kind of looking for the hit. AZ and Rocky have a one-stock advantage. They don't have to really push right now. Yeah, I mean, good stuff to them. Uh, Rocky right there realizing that AZ's offstage is going to have to go to ledge. You have to make those decisions where you choose to recover high, so that way if AZ gets back on ledge, he doesn't have to worry about getting ledge trump by his teammate. Absolutely. All right, gets the dash attack there. Ah, oh, punishes the up smash from Wolf, though. And still gets punished anyway for that dash attack. All right. Oh, 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 lingering hitbox from Batman's forward smash. We'll catch the spot dodge. And like I said, Rocky's been holding. Oh, as soon as I say that, dead. Oh, no! J Jace made Amaryllis explode. Yeah. That is really unfortunate. Yeah. And I don't think we'll be seeing another uh, risk from AZ and Rocky like the last time, even though it what looks like to be a mistake. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna just play it slow. They both can out neutral Zelda. That's where her weakness is. Let's see the setup. AZ's been doing really well on ledge Ooh. recently. Oh. oh, the key, that's fine. Good up B, just catches her. Yeah, Zelda's gonna have a hard time landing here. Ooh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I like, like this, this is a lot of fun. Uh, Okay. Yeah, that was a really good near. Near lingers so long, so it could just kind of just hover there and combo up whatever that gets thrown there. Yeah, and obviously uh, Rocky t uh, taking center stage just to make sure that uh, self, um, that Jace can't like just uh, jump in for free or roll. But it doesn't matter because AZ's ledge trapping was just on point. And really good pick up air. That dash attack leading right into that up air. Because either... It was the dash attack sweet spot and it kills, or the dash attack sour spot and pops them up. And really good awareness from AZ to be able to react to that. AZ and Rocky are looking excellent right yeah, now. They I mean, are cooking with so much gas. Yeah, I think this might be 3-0 and might be a handshake, but look, we've seen what happens when they go to, down 2-0. Uh, they came right roaring back and won the set. So Jason and Amaryllis might still have some in the tank, but it's hard. You gotta work through losers, whole lot of game five sets. So let's see if they can carry that momentum. I don't know. They're gonna need a ch change in tone or something. Uh, honestly, I don't think they're. Pl I don't think they're playing it wrong. I just think a few interactions aren't going their way. Like there was a situation where like uh, Amaryllis had passed a, uh, one of the characters over to uh, to Jace, and Jace just missed the up air. That yeah. could have definitely just changed things. Yeah, for sure. And then you know, Jace has been taking some friendly fire uh, to towards Amaryllis, so it's just really tough right now. Yeah, but uh, they, they don't look shaken. They look like we're here. We can definitely do it. Yeah, if, the, if red team can take stocks away from Rocky sooner than... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, no! Wait, wait, no! Wait, what? I, I think... What, what happened? Oh, oh, my goodness. Uh, and every... now we're an even game with everybody. Sure. Uh, okay, he'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially after the startup, 
of how uh, how the game started off. You know, might as well clear the board and have everyone at equal placing. Absolutely. And right now you're seeing like these scramble situations. They're getting a little more compact. They're they're starting to have all oh oh, oh my goodness, AC foot stomp down. Yeah, that down smash is always gonna uh, work because of that. You know, you don't have to put yourself into the situation. You know, that foot's just going to come down and take that stock. Oh, that, that, the bell. Oh, but Rocky's going to pay for it. And Amaryllis and Jace are in solid position right now to take this game and yeah. change the momentum of this set. I know Rocky wants to get that bell, but it's tough when you put your uh, teammate in the corner by themselves against uh, someone like Jace and Amaryllis. Oh, the bell will come in. Amaryllis still has a stock left. Let's see. Oh, get that damage on the board. Oh, nice combo. Oh, the up air conversion. Amaryllis does go, but he did build up some percentage. So honestly, they're in really good, they're in a good spot. But right now, uh, Amaryllis is in disadvantage. Oh. Finally gets to down. AZ's got to be wary of his grabs the way he's doing because you can get lightning kicked in the face from Zelda and you don't want to die at 50. Oh, that's a deletion. And that's it. No oh, no, the DI. Hold on. This isn't completely over. Yeah, I mean, Pac-Man can definitely... Oh, that's it. <laughs> Look, we could be working on a reverse 3-0 uh, right here, and we've seen him do it. Absolutely. So it's just a matter of... I mean, they, they played a lot cleaner right there. Emerald did a really good decision, dropping down with their invincibility, dropping with a forward smash, and cleared the board, able to them to reset the whole match. Basically, uh, absolutely, and honestly, just like you said, like a few interactions went their way, and look, uh, they honestly they looked a lot more com uh, comfortable in that set. Yeah. Like it, it didn't look like they were ever in any trouble for that game. Uh, obviously, game four, we're gonna be seeing AZ and Rocky obviously make some adjustments here. Uh, definitely, I think uh, if if I were uh, targeting anyone, it would have to be AZ. Just just get Wolf out of the way, because Wolf dictates so much neutral in this game. Yeah, he's he's the one pushing forward. And, I mean, that end, you gotta take, take Rocky stocks, because Rocky has been living a really long time. Absolutely. But for the blue team, they gotta get rid of Jace, and hopefully <laughs> put Jace in situations where he takes Amaryllis' stock. Absolutely, all right. Rocky gets back on stage. He was in trouble, but manages to stay on. Oh! That's a stock. That's an early kill. Yeah. And this is looking, oh, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I thought maybe the stage spike was gonna be a problem. See right there, uh, Rocky getting two. Sometimes you gotta wait out Amaryllis, and we saw from earlier Shattuck just wait out that witch time, because Amaryllis does like to go for it. I mean, you gotta do that against Bayo. Absolutely. And something that I love that, Amar uh, that Jace did, uh, at, at Rocky had the bell, and he managed to save his partner from getting any kind of damage. Like it's definitely really important to make sure that you, you have to watch your you, you have to watch your teammates back yeah. so often. For sure. Ooh, gets the throw off, but gets deleted for it. Yeah, that's not what you want. I mean, they're still sitting pretty with their first stocks on each red team. Oh, gets the grab. Bell? Oh, yeah, let's go. Really, I'm with it. Yeah, really good team combo, but you're going to need to start doing that way earlier than killing at, like, one uh, Oh, Rocky in a lot of trouble. Rocky trying to finally get back on stage. Oh, tries to go for an up tilt. Doesn't get anything. AZ and Rocky have control of center stage. Yeah, see, that's what their, their uh, job has been, is AZ sets up. Oh, getting... They have key and... <laughs> whiz kick or uh, uh, lightning kick that's so scary yeah that is terrifying and, and that's the thing right like doubles is such a risk reward game because yeah. like you're not gonna not get hit like it's gonna happen you have to take you have to figure out what's worth the risk and what isn't yeah Oh! I just need to see some early socks, really, from blue team. Like, you can win neutral over and over, but what's been keeping red team in and in wow, the advantage... Wow, Rocky exploded at 90. Ooh, I mean, this is doable. You just have to take Amarillo's stock and then just kind of play really well. But, I mean, it's looking like a game five. Yeah. Oh, tries to come in. Oh, Hydrant will catch Amarillo. Yeah, Amarillo's, uh, if you're not looking for Hydrant, it's going to come for him. Yeah, and this is uh, unfortunately looking pretty grim for Rocky right now. Yeah, we're up to a game five, and oh. AZ and Rocky have been doing really well in the games they win, but the games they lose, 
It's been pretty much the other way. All right, Bell won't do mean much when you have Bayo to cover you. Uh -oh. Up till, oh, the up air. Yeah, good team combo there. And you're close to dying, really. Yeah, and, and honestly, this is like one of the hardest things to That's deal it. with. That's it. Yeah, like air dodging becomes so awful because one can just go for it, you'll get red, and then the other can just clean it up if you miss. And we're running it back. Man, this is tough. <laughs> like I said, Jason and Amarillas definitely still have some gas left in the tank. And it even with this game five, they're 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 slugging it out. Definitely are. It looked it looked really dominant from AZ and Rocky uh, 2 0. Like it looked very clean. Yeah. And now uh, it looks a lot cleaner for Am like it's gotten better each game. Yeah, and we've seen that they can close out game five. So I mean I don't know who can take it. Because the games that like I said, Amar uh uh, Rocky and AZ win, they're like really dominant games. So it's almost as we'll be able to tell who's going to win the game five, basically how it starts off. So obviously, uh, we've been going to PS2. Do you think they go for a stage change? Nope. Well, nah, we they said they run it back and they kind of thought about it. And I was like, oh, okay. Hey, if sometimes you got to go with what brought you to the dance. Yeah. Like it, it, you're too far in to doubles to like change anything now. Yeah, especially a character like oh. Wolf, Wolf really won't care that much about the stage pick because you could just get to where you need to be. That aerial drift is so good. You're not a very slow character. And Pac-Man can get there as well. So we'll, we'll see how it goes in game five. We're about to see if we're about to go get a reset or we're about to crown our, our third anniversary doubles champions right now. Yeah, let's see. And I saw, I really love the adaptation. Jace decided to uh, do side B to stop uh, Rocky from charging uh, the items. Uh, don't, oh no, AZ unfortunately was part of that combo fondue for a second. Okay. Just, okay, okay, reflects the hydrant, does not want to deal with it. Using that armor to get through that uh, offstage interaction with the Bayo. All right, really good stuff here. And both, a, a lot of these characters, most, uh, well, two of them have some really solid out of, uh, out of shield options. Uh, so I, I guess Wolf does too, because jump out of air is always not going to be a complaint. Oh, that's Ooh. a hard punish. Hold on. No, that's an up tilting the wrong person. Okay, gets back on stage. Oh, tried to punish. Oh! Clear the board. Total deletion. My goodness. Oh, and Rocky's dead. No, Ro no, that is not something you can afford. Yeah, all that worked for nothing, just thrown away. That's yeah. got to be, got, it got to hurt. Yeah, like if you're easy, if you're Rocky, you, you just have to fight it. Like, just forget it. Pretend it didn't happen. You don't have time to think about it. Yeah, got to keep moving on. Well, they're sitting in really good stock percentage, but we've seen Bale could just easily uh, bring that right back. All right. Amaryllis uh, and Anch, uh, and uh, Jace both have some percentage built up, but both, I mean, we already know Zelda hits really hard. Yeah. So we're going to have to sit here, all right, playing it patient. <gasps> oh! Catching both of them. And Cut. this is Rocky's game. Oh my gosh. If they win, it's definitely because of Rocky's uh, stock uh, KOs that he's taking and stock, uh, uh, stock tanking. Oh, here we go. This is big time for uh, uh, AZ and Rocky are on the cusp of it. Yeah, they could win it right now if they play their cards right. Yeah, and, and, and Jason and Amaryllis are being rocked right now. Let's see. AZ needs this. Come back. Oh, hits the uh, hits forward tilt there. Man, there's so much keeping Jace at bay right now. It is bad. It is looking really bad yeah, for Red Team. He's trying to, but Amaryllis has been having to 2v1 this for the last 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, and again, Jace trying anything to try and engage. Does get the forward smash, though. But they still have one more stock to play with. They're going to need to, like, take a stock really early to even it up. All right, this is a start. Oh, oh, you know, oh, no! That's it. No, the bell. And oh. Amaryllis is going to have to peep not only a 2v1, but AZ and extra stock. Here we go. And J, uh, Rocky has already beaten Lima recently, so he knows that Bayo matchup as well. Okay, that's one. This is for legends, <laughs> and moments are made. Look, you want a game five, you're going to have to earn it through this 2v1. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, AZ's been showing that he can get out of these combos. Yeah. So, so funny enough, uh, Amaryllis, I think, is doing the right thing. Don't, don't push. Yeah. Like, let them approach you. Like, there's no reason. Here we go. Really good wait there, because you got to wait it out. You know, you can't really press your advantage too hard, because you know AZ's going to be there. Oh, hold on. Tries to go for the down smash. Even 2v1, Bayo is kind of tricky to hit. Yeah, she has so much momentum, and she can go from, like, point A to point B really fast. Oh, wow, the oh, shake-up. That was scary. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit by that. But see, this is tough, because Rocky's going to start fishing for these items, and if you can get it. Oh, oh, he had it. He had it. Yeah, almost Just had that. Kind of away. That's it. Yeah. Clipping that heel. And that's going to be game five. Rocky and AZ are your Odyssey doubles champion. Never dropping a stock uh, a set and staying game five. Man, that was a really scary game five. That, I, that I, was impressive. Yeah. But uh, good stuff to them. I mean, they, they barely teamed Thursday and won tonight's tournament, which is crazy to think about. Good stuff to them. Excellent. And even when things got tough, because obviously Amaryllis and uh, Jace, obviously congratulations to them as well, getting yep. second place, playing it really hard and making sure that AZ Rocky knew this wasn't going to be easy. But hey, they came and, and overcame. And honestly, very well earned and very enjoyable to watch. Yeah, really good stuff. And it's like all neutral. You didn't really see any like combos from between the two of them because I mean, they just started. It's not like, I mean, and the ones that you did see were major hard hitting stuff. So uh, I, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. They came in here. I think they were the fourth or third seed. Uh, Cause I mean, that's a pretty big statement to just come in and out of nowhere and just pick up someone that you've never played with and dominate doubles like that. And, and this was not just some any doubles teams. Like we had some killers out today besides yeah. Amaryllis and Jade. We had Shattuck and Lima. We had Danby and Beastly. Mm -hmm. uh, Curry, Curry and Cheeks. I mean, these, this is 20 teams. This is no small tournament for them. So good stuff. Uh, I, mean, I mean, Rocky's not going to stay around, I don't think, for all that long. So it's not like they can keep winning these tournaments. <laughs> you know. Hey. But good stuff nonetheless. Absolutely. And if he, for some reason, decided to stay, he is more than welcome to. Because that, <laughs> that kind of play is pretty solid. Yeah, that AZ, good stuff to AZ and Rocky. Man, I, I, those were intense games. Like, you can never 